Generic greetings and welcome back once again to another chill session on Kingdoms and Castles where in the previous episode we went ahead and expanded to this southeastern island and that gave us access to this iron which we now have two iron mines on there and then obviously all of the things to support that so the drawbridge is there to get across this little little inlet and also the road network as well as over here the storage for all of that and the blacksmiths as well. Now I know there's been several suggestions to not use the blacksmiths instead just to have another dock and just trade for it that's actually a good idea and it's probably what we'll end up doing if this becomes a bit of a bottleneck but we've got the infrastructure in now so we might as well at least attempt to use it however i think one of the improvements certainly would be a stone road once again suggested directly in uh, previous episodes comments to allow them to get there quicker and i think that's actually a very smart idea the disadvantage is obviously it does cost money each well, each one of those roads actually costs five um, five stone and five gold so we don't want to build across the entire thing because that will completely bankrupt us and need to say we can't afford that anyway nine years until the next dragon attack nine years for the next viking attack in terms of resources we are looking all right we got nearly 700 wood just under 400 stone which is pretty good charcoal is sitting pretty on the 561 plus a total change from last year in terms of food it's it's good <laughs> it's very very good considering the amount of orchards we have obviously all of the wheat we have the bakers as well which we don't necessarily need but we have got those in there it's uh, pretty good although i don't believe they're working no they're not working because of the priorities i could actually bring the jobs from the builders further down and that would obviously give the other guys uh, more time to well more workers would go further up and i think that's actually a sensible idea let's go ahead and bring the builders down to about there perhaps or maybe put the bakers above that and maybe even dock workers I mean, we could just put them right at the bottom, couldn't we, realistically, but then nothing gets built. Uh, so we'll put them further up there. So I mean, fishing industry, you can see <laughs> there's loads of loads of jobs there. I do want to certainly build some more housing in this episode. We're going to build that as a priority. In fact, let's go ahead and go to Manor House, and we'll start to place these Manor Houses in and around this area. Now, I think the furthest they'll probably get is about this side. I don't think any further than that would be realistic. Obviously, we have this inner wall here and then we'll have another wall further out but anyway let's go ahead and place this in this corner here i think that would be nice and i'm trying to just place it not in a sort of fairly deliberate orientation i'm trying to mix and match it up a bit so that's hopefully a little bit better in terms of wood at the moment we have one forest up here and that is it however i do want to oh we've also got the uh no that's not a forest there that's uh, the fishing the uh, fisheries yes I, I have got the one forester up here we originally had three and we've got rid of those i think what we'll end up doing eventually is putting one, two, three foresters on this island, and this will basically be a resource island, one where we don't we don't build on there, we don't go ahead and just completely remove all of the trees and then build housing and such. I don't think that would be a nice idea. I think leaving it as a sort of resource island, a renewable resource, would be quite good. Similarly, I would like to do something around either here or here here most likely it's going to be this area where we have foresters around here and we can have them on the edge and then go all the way down because it means that we've got the orchards and then obviously all the trees that back onto that so that's a nice steady supply of wood and it's right near the charcoal burners anyway so that sort of makes sense this area probably not this is going to be more farming but we'll see as always how we get on there we have the manor house on the waterfront getting built which is pretty good we have these ones obviously cracking on as well three or eight people maximum beds 308 so we're actually all right on that one in terms of happiness we are 75 trending towards 75 and presents are in excellent health which is good because mainly of this i'm guessing we've got a hospital there we have a clinic over here so overall i'm very very happy with our progress i do want to try and increase the happiness of people around here see that's residents want access to drinkable water there's actually no drinkable water around this area which is interesting so what i'm going to do is i guess interesting and concerning i'm going to place a well and where is the best place for the well 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 i think 
probably... Oh, we can't place it there. I guess we can't place a well on a pier because there's no uh, ready source of <laughs> drinking water there. I guess we'll place it around here and that would provide water around this area. And this little gap that we have, I think that would be a perfect place for a dragon. No, maybe not. Um, actually, we could place a... We could place some sort of statue there. I mean, a tavern would fit in, but I mean, there's a tavern there which gives us uh, decent access. So, I mean, realistically, we could just place a le nice little, nice little cottage there. Is that a cottage? It is cottage. Yeah. So, hovel, cottage, manor. I think that's a cottage. That's what I think. I guess. Uh, oh no. I mean, there could be both. Hmm. Anyway. So that's all right. It is for the next dragon and viking attack so we don't need to worry about that. Looks like the road has been completed and people are running back and forward collecting resources and running back which is all good. I think we will probably wait for one of these buildings to be completed and then we'll hold a festival. I think that would be pretty good. I'm also, I'm genuinely, I'm, I know I said I wasn't going to do it, I'm genuinely, I'm tempted to just upgrade everything to a stone road because that's, you know, just everybody just goes much faster and I think that would be, would that be a worthy thing to do? I mean, let's just check that row there, this entire row here where we see a lot of foot traffic, that would be 125 of each resource and, well, we have it, don't we? We do have that, so... I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna I'm gonna slowly upgrade the road in and around this area. I think that would be a better use of our resources than say changing all of this to stone, which I know people have suggested. It's just a shame. Oh, you can you can actually build straight over the top of it, which is good. So we may end up doing that. Can you do that though with the with the stone gate? You can. Oh, very good. Very nice indeed. Anyway, we're going to go ahead and run a festival because we have 408 beds and 306 people. So hopefully getting all of those here will help us out. In terms of other building opportunities, we've got things like the bathhouse and the fountains and such which we haven't made and same as Great Library and Cathedral. Where would they go? Realistically, I have no idea. Certainly the Great Library I don't know. Uh, the Cathedral it wouldn't make sense putting it right next to this church, although we could potentially remove that church and have just a cathedral there and move the church over there. That's actually not a bad idea I don't think now that I say it out loud anyway we will concentrate on that in a moment because the taverns on fire that's getting sorted there although they are walking past with lots of kindling which seems to be a fairly interesting approach anyway let's have a quick look and we'll go to sell and we can see that there is almost nothing to sell because I don't think we have many jobs uh, <laughs> in here I don't think there's many people working there nope there's no workers there so nothing's been sent over there. In terms of resources that they have, they have some, oh they have lots of stuff that we may want. We have, we have iron, we have tools and we have weapons. Realistically there's nothing I really want to buy from them. I want to save that money because it is a, a bit of a priority, oh a bit of a priority there and you can see that what's happened is we've managed to get loads of people went up to 407 people and beds is 46 but we now have 46 people idle whoops okay so we need some more places for them to work now as i said changing this to a cathedral is not a terrible idea the question is what's the best way of doing it um i'm not particularly sure how are we doing for food well, for a start, if we wanted to change that over, we need a couple hundred more stone. They have 28 available. I'll I'll buy that 28. I'm going to increase our tax rate 25% as well. So, our churches and libraries are too crowded. Try building more. The peasants despair their filthiness. They need a bathhouse. Ah, right. Okay. That completely changes things. So, they're wanting a bathhouse and they are wanting a more well more libraries so I can build another library that isn't actually a huge problem the library can easily go around here like so hopefully that'll solve that issue but the bathhouse requires norries and water and fountains and yeah we need to do that so 
What I'm thinking is, a bathhouse would probably benefit from going around here. Because that's more in the middle than in this corner. It would fit lovely in there. But it's quite far away. It's sort of a moot point at this stage because we don't have any aqueducts or norias and nor can I find the things. I always tend to lose them. Oh, is that stone bridge? Yeah, we're going to have to upgrade this and all those things now, aren't we? <laughs> um, so, we've got those. Drawbridge. So we've got drawbridges, but we need one stone bridges. Let's do that for the sake of completeness and whoops. Hopefully they can build that. Actually, they can walk through this entire thing because it's fresh water and, and uh, not not very deep. Okay, so they are, they're in they they despair. They want a bathhouse. Is that more of a priority than the cathedral? I think it is, which requires norias. Okay, so let's run with the idea that. The bathhouse is going to go around here or around here. That means that water needs to be supplied close by. So, most likely around this part here. Hmm. Noria. Where could we place one? One would go in there. We could place them around here as well. In fact, realistically, what I'll do is have one two, three, four. Along there. Right along there. Okay, we are going to do just that, I think. But first, we're going to build a road along here. This might seem like a bit of a strange concept, but we're building a road along there. We're going to chop all that. We're going to remove, I think, that bit. And we're going to place in the foresters along this side. We need to ensure that our wood futures are safe before we start upgrading and overhauling over this side so we'll put up to max speed let them crack on there obviously lots of jobs available that'll because of the jobs that we've provided now a lot of the the i think food and such will be fluctuating oh minus change from last year look at that minus 173 we need more farming, and I think we need it sooner rather than later. Well, that's fine with me. So let's rotate that round. We'll go one there, and then one there. And then we will build... Hang on. It is in food and farm, and straight up to there, down there. And there we go. Even more farming. Probably put that in there, and we'll build a road to go around if we need to later on. This is now being put in, so that requires a road. Road will go down to... don't really know exactly how far, but probably about there. We will then place in a forester, which will go in there, which... Hmm, they didn't... Oh, if they removed the trees, they didn't remove all of them. So this forester will go in here. The other one will go around there. And then another one will go here once I've built <laughs> the stuff uh, around these parts. Because otherwise we'll have trees getting built, uh, built, getting grown over there. Which is something I certainly don't want to do. And we don't want to have happen, rather. And let's wait for that to be removed. You can see it's been chopping. It's getting chopped down, yeah, it's been chopped. And there we go and there's our forester in there okay so that's fine over here we will we'll keep them working for now there's no reason why we can't despair at the yeah trending wards 50 that's never good it's never good now we're doing for food it's going right down hmm luckily farmers i'm hoping are going to be further up on this list yes farmers are top job as one would imagine Orchardists will also be the top job now. Windmill workers will also go up there as well. But we've increased massively our amount of food that we can produce there. So I'm hoping... Ah, oh, plus 40 change from last year. So I'm hoping that's job done. 
We'll see how we get on this year with that one. Okay, so back over to here. We will get rid of that forester. And I also want to... Uh, what's the best way of running this water? It'll be direct to the bathhouse. So I think we will go to chop. Chop all across there. And then chop like that. And... Ah, uh, that's a problem. Will a Nori fit in there? I think it will. I think a Nori will fit in that little gap. It should be fine. So over to roads. And the road will run up to here. And let's see about Nori's. Which is in this part. Must be built in fresh water. Is that not fresh water? Oh, it's salt water. Oh. Well, that's changed that that's changed all of those plans. Okay. So, that's all salt water. I guess with all the fish, it makes perfect sense. Ah, oh, fresh water's all the way down here as well. That would be a perfect place for them, wouldn't it? Nori is right across here. It's all fresh water and in a big straight line. I can see some manor houses being demolished in my future. Demolish. Get rid of that. Don't want it anymore. Okay. We are going to... The yeah, we're gonna. I think we're gonna demolish these and put the the norias in. Oh, what's the other? What's the other option around here? But because of the design of it, eh, fresh water there. You know what? Yes. Change your plan again. Round here. Mainly because demolishing all those is gonna be problematic, and it makes sense putting them here because we've got this like inlet where the water would naturally flow anywhere. So you would think that that's a good place for Honoria. Alright, so we're going to go to chop. Chop all across there. We will chop this part and I can see me using piers to change the layout of some of this. Let's just chop like that and we'll see what, how we get on there. We'll run the road along. So the road will come across here. That's fine. Food is... Looking alright. That's fine. I'm going to reduce the tax rate down a little bit. Just to hopefully trend that up a bit further. And there's all that chopped. They're pretty good at chopping. So we'll come down about there. And let's see where we can place these norias. So I know one can go there. One would go there as well, realistically. Oh, we could put it one there. One there. One there, one there, and one there. Cancel. Cancel. We'll have the Norias. That orientation. Ah, uh, that's a shame. We're not going to be able to fit one in there, are we? Fit them either side. Demolish that. And one more there. Okay, and then we can probably get some that side as well. But there's three Norias. That's more than enough for our needs at the moment. So, chop all of that. Because this is where the bathhouse is going to go. I'll just get rid of all the, all the trees around here. And I am tempted by the cathedral. We need, sadly, more stone than we have. Oh, bathhouse would fit nice in there, wouldn't it? Yes. Where else would it fit? Oh, that would be a much better place up there. That's exactly where we thought we were going to build it as well. Could we place it up here? We could. And that would provide the entire island with the water we need. Anyway, let's go ahead and start to sell some stuff. And buying. And buy the stone. And that'll do us for now. So... The bathhouse over here. Better idea. Better idea, better position, and just better. That does mean running the water from here all the way across. Shouldn't be a problem. We can realistically run the water al like around here. Along and round. Like that, and it runs across. What I'm tempted to do, though, is 
run it behind these because it'll look a bit better. So we'll do that. And there we are. It's, yeah, because it'll be hidden in, in between here and I'm going to have homes on the other side anyway. And other things. Alright, let's try that. Because running it through there would look a bit... Wouldn't look very good. All the aqueducts and such. We also have reservoirs as well. I'll place a reservoir in here. Because it's a perfect place for one. Because I was tempted to have a fountain around there anyway. So that makes perfect sense. And then, obviously, a reservoir will have to go around here somewhere to then supply that. Alright. You can see they're all cracking on building whatever they can. Take a while to build more stuff, but they're getting there. Chop all them trees at the back. Let's see how we're working on over here. Oh, that's good. They're all... All the trees are getting chopped down there as well, which is very good. Three years until the next attacks. Noria's are being erected. One of them almost complete, the other one getting there, and then the final one not so much. There we go, there's the first Noria. And Aqueduct. Just run straight across, like that. Uh, can't go any further because I don't have the stone. <laughs> hmm. There we go, there's that now in. All connectorated. And there's the area for the bathhouse ready. Sadly, a bathhouse does require 125 stone. But that's the place for it. And a library would actually fit in very nice there as well, now that I think about it. With a fountain outside it. Library there with a fountain. Ooh, yeah. Look at that. Nice little fountain we could place anywhere we want. Oh, a fountain would actually fit there as well. <laughs> I was, I was going to be honest, I'm going to probably put the... Uh, Probably put the reservoir in there. Just a cheeky reservoir, just hidden in the back behind the behind where all the books are. Actually, that's that's no, that's all kinds of problematic. Anyway, I am going to go to job priority and turn on both the archers and the ballista operators because we have dragon attack and Viking attack shortly. I'm also going to bring in our transport ship to unload the arches that we've got there because obviously we are going to have to defend against whatever turns up so i'm going to bring in those guys there and we also have sahun free now which is pretty good and i thought we were training some more archers apparently not i will train another archer squad and crack on with that one so we have a knight and we also have some archers but i wanted to get the people on the ballistas and archer towers beforehand to try and increase their skill. Now, obviously, that does mean we're going to get less money, but quite frankly, that's not a big issue for us at this stage on 150, no, 1,500 and a bit of change there. Anyway, this is now pretty much built, and we need to then run it up and across and up and across, and that is going to be a fairly expensive endeavor and also quite frankly something we just can't afford it's going to go one two th and that's it <laughs> that's all we can afford each one requires 40 stone so realistically it's going to take about 800 to 900 stone to get it there and build what we need to get built that's ex that's really expensive anyway how are we doing for food plus 130 change from last year which it actually says Oh, 134 fish from fishing industry. So that is functioning, which is good. We also have 97 tools, which is pretty good. Fishmongers on, quarries are on. Not forests, but I will say mines. Might as well say mines, get the mines using it. Charcoal's okay, but slowly going down. We may have to sort that out. And oh, we now have our Vikings invading. So I've paused it while we check. And they are coming from uh, our normal orientation. They're directly north. So we have the Northern Vikings on the way. I will get our archers up onto the wall here. And then I will use the knights to do whatever they need to do. So here they come. And also dragon attack is coming in as well. The dragon attack, not really too concerned about because quite frankly the the static defences will deal with that. We have um, flak 88s on the roof so hopefully that should 
sort the, <laughs> sort the problem out. And two dragons spotted this time. Two smaller dragons, but it is two dragons. So I think hot wings are back on the menu. There is the ballista towers. Good shots already from those ballista towers. Uh, hit both of those. Oh, hit that one there. Uh, both of them are still heading towards the windmills. They really don't like stuff that is very tall. Looks like one dragon is getting shot off the arches there. And one dragon is about to go down. And it's running off. It's running off. And oh, we've actually lost a windmill. But one of the dragons is killed. This is good. Let's go down and see that the other dragon is still being attacked. But sadly, we have lost that windmill, so I will order them to rebuild that. However, our main concern now is up here where we have the Vikings. So unpause that once again. We can see that already shots are coming out to attack the attack the Vikings. So we've got ballista shots. I also heard like a thunk. What's that over there? That is our Sir Humphrey. What? Hang on, why are they in the water? Uh, <laughs> uh, interesting. I... Don't know what's going on there, but at least we now have that, the, the lost the lost water knights are, are back here. Let's go ahead and attack these Vikings. Oh, they're the archers. Um, I must have misclicked when I uh, did that. Pe peasant killed by dragons four, sadly, but we are able to hopefully rebuild the rest of it. They're actually walking around the outside there. I'm telling them both to to go through, and you can see they're trying to come. They'll actually be coming around here, so we'll just block that up. And no, 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 don't be... Why, why are the water knights there? Uh, <laughs> anyway, the Vikings are, I believe, now leaving. That's it. Oh, no, we've got another set of Vikings coming down. That's a bit of a flank going on here. Down the bottom near the recently built Norias. And we also have a merchant ship, which I will promptly sell some stuff to. And then buy all the stone available. 32 and buy. And then unpause. And let's see if we can deal with these Vikings. Because realistically, this is the side that's the most exposed. We don't have any defences around here at all. So I need to probably resolve that at some point. So here they are coming in. We can see we've got the archers firing away there. We will eventually see some shots coming in from the... Let's tell them to directly attack that one. Are these just both archers? Yeah. Uh, and let's attack that one there. Yeah, there's them dealt with. These archers are really good. Yeah, I think we will eventually have to have some towers around here. But as you can see, we are absolutely peppering this guy here. So they're running through, but they're going to run towards these ballista towers which means they're not going to last very long and there we go they're dealt with that is it that is them completely sorted and that is the attack over with yeah that should be it right excellent i was hopeful that we wouldn't suffer a huge loss and that's looks to be what's happened there we haven't suffered a, a loss Okay, back over to Aqueduct then and spend some more money and that's all the money I can spend because <laughs> we don't have the stone available. The other option obviously is to expand over here but that is something I can't realistically do. I need to build an outpost on it so yeah we shall see. Okay, I think we will leave it there for now because well we've got the Norias up and we have, oh look at that, 100. We are on 100. Wow. 20, plus 20 excited about the recent dragon kill, plus 20 glad vikings were destroyed in the invasion. A bit of trauma from the viking attack and people are a bit dirty. But I mean, yeah, other than that, we can we can really exploit this and... Oh, you can't actually have anything over a 30 tax rate, so... Hmm, there you are. Right, as I said, I think we will leave it there. Norias are in, which I'm pretty happy with. The next episode we will crack on and hopefully finish that off and get the bathhouse in. We'll also look at potentially upgrading this to a, a cathedral, but we'll see about that. We may have to we may have to put that on hold for a while, mainly because of, again, the bottleneck when it comes to stone. We'll also go through and check to make sure we've got the right amount of resources needed and just overall progress on. Either way, I hope you have enjoyed it. And that's another windmill we need to rebuild. Two windmills that have been destroyed. Boo. And dragons really don't like windmills. Anyway, we'll leave it there. Next episode, we'll crack on and see, as always, how we get on. Thanks very much for watching. Take care and generic partings. <laughs>